So we're going to do a quick breakdown of our two octave G major scale on bass. Um, very quick. So our first octave, we're staying in first position, and this is all normal. Pretty straightforward. Um, as we go up the second octave, we'll have our G, A, B, C natural, D, E, F sharp, G. We can play that G as a harmonic at the top using your ring finger. That's how I do it. Um, but if you're going to press down, um, you need to make sure that your elbow comes around a little bit more so you have more weight from your arm assisting your fingers. And I would use one or two extra fingers to help push the string down, depending on how, how tight your strings are, how easy it is to move them. Um, so, as we go up our second octave, G, A, B. When we shift up to C natural, it's going to be a small space. And then we've got our fourth finger, D. There we go. Making sure we have that in tune. So that is our checkpoint there. Then uh, we're going up to E. So from D to E, we've got a little bit bigger of a space. And a good way to practice that will be going from our fourth finger on D up to our E, which we can actually check against our open E string and make sure that it's okay from there. So, fourth finger F sharp. Practicing those shifts uh, very deliberately as you're going through. Um, you can also refer to the other video about a practice technique for going through scales to make it a little less boring. And if you have any other questions, please do let me know.